second movement of Beethoven's first symphony starts with a lovely, delicate theme in the key of the subdominant F major. It's built on the classic sonata form, exposition, development, and recapitulation. The exposition has two themes. The first theme is presented immediately without an introduction by the strings. The exposition of the theme is built in a scalar way, in an imitative style. Second violins only at first, violas and cellos in bar 6 on the dominant C major, double basses, bassoon and horns in bar 10 again on the dominant of C major, first violins, flute, oboe and clarinet in bar 12 on the tonic F major. And everyone plays in pianissimo. Hello everyone, I'm Gemma Griglio and I welcome you to a new episode of Conducting Pills. If you're new here, this channel is all about classical music, score analysis and conducting tips. I want to thank all of my patrons for making this series possible. And now, on with Beethoven. A short modulating bridge shows the first crescendo and this forzati so typical of Beethoven's writing. Nothing violent though, this is just a nudge, ending on the dominant and introducing the second theme presented by all the strings with the addition of the bassoon and horns at the end of the phrase. The theme ends on G major, the dominant on the dominant. This second theme is derived from the first. Beethoven follows Haydn on this one. So much so that for some it is a continuation of the initial musical statement rather than a second theme per se. Now, the idea is immediately taken up by the woodwinds and concluded by a rhythmical codetta with, again, the duality of strengths woodwinds. The exposition is concluded with a coda. The timpani retake the rhythm of the codetta of the second theme, while a series of triplets is played by the first violins and the flute, concluding with the first cell of the first theme. Notice the insistence of the rhythmical figure in the timpani, something quite daring for Beethoven's time. The development is relatively short. 35 bars long section begins in the minor mode of the dominant, C minor. Notice the affinity with both the first and the second theme. Beethoven modulates to the distant key of D flat major, retaking different elements of the exposition. We can see the rhythm that the timpani played in the coda now passed to the strings, and the first cell of the first theme passed around in the woodwinds. This rhythm is picked up again by the timpani, with a question-answer moment between the woodwinds and the rest of the orchestra, alternating forte and piano dynamics. This is, in fact, the expected pedal on the dominant, preparing the recapitulation. This recapitulation presents an important change right away. Beethoven adds a counter theme to the main one. Now, while the second violins present the theme as they did at the beginning, the cellos counterpoint with another theme passed on to the first and second violins when the main theme is played by the violas and the bassoon. The recap proceeds mirroring the exposition and lands on the coda of the movement. Notice how the timpani rhythm returns in the second violins and violas. Notice the oboe line playing one last time, the head of the first theme slightly variated. The structure is a typical ABA form. 
Despite the title of Minuetto, the fast pace already indicates Beethoven's will to detach himself from tradition and move to the scherzo. The form is maintained, but the character is far away from an elegant courtly dance of Haydn and Mozart. Notice how the theme is built on nothing but a scale. Eight bars of strings in crescendo, with the rest of the orchestra joining in the last two bars of the phrase. The first eight bars of the movement are the first part of the minuet. The second part, according to the classical scheme, should be made up of eight other bars in which the harmony at the end falls back on the tonic. With Beethoven being Beethoven, this, of course, does not happen, and this second part can be split into two different sections, development and recapitulation. Starting with the head of the theme, the development builds a phrase to the far key of D flat major. And once again, notice the dynamic contrast, piano, forte, piano, forte, fortissimo, sforzato. The bridge to the main theme is built on a question-answer model between the low strings and the coupled oboe bassoon. Back to C major, the reprise of the theme is enhanced by the dynamic, now forte to fortissimo, and the presence of the full orchestra. A short coda closes the first part. The trio follows the same scheme of the minuet. First part where the theme of the trio is exposed, the second part where it is shortly developed, the third part where it is presented again in a variated form. We start with the woodwinds, minus the flutes and the horns. The absence of the flutes gives the sound a darker color. The last chord is left there, held by the winds, while the violins take over the musical discourse. The model is repeated, and then bits of it are used to close the phrase. The second part begins with a dialogue between clarinets and horns on one side, and the first violins on the other. All the elements are taken from the first part of the trio. Finally, the theme of the trio is reintroduced, but melts almost immediately in the coda. After a repeat, we go back, traditionally, to the beginning of the minuet. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button right below this video and ring the bell so that you will get notified every time a new video comes out. For more in-depth analysis, conducting technique and conducting exercises, look on my website where you can find more than 100 videos now and follow my Facebook group. And if you want to support this series, you're always welcome to do so on Patreon. All the links are in the description. Let me know in the comments what you think about this piece, about this video, and if you have any suggestions for future videos. And in the next episode of this series, we'll keep going with this wonderful symphony. In the meanwhile, please continue to enjoy music and be well. Ciao! The difficulty lies in getting the orchestra to be together on the downbeat, as we have the woodwinds and horns with the violins, and pizzicato underneath. The trick, if we want to call it that, is right here in the room.